Hello again, folks, and welcome to another gaming demonstration. This time we're going to cover Spin Tires Mud Runner, which is a newly revised version of the older Spin Tires game. So here we are in Siberia, in the middle of a muddy, marshy forest, and our job is to gather logs and take them to the lumber mill. Now, we're currently at a garage, and we have a couple of vehicles available to us. We have a smaller Land Rover-like vehicle, the A469. We have this straight truck, the C375. And then over to the right, you see a B131 truck fitted with a log carrier and a trailer on the back. Now, we can access our map and take a look at the terrain. So here we are at the garage. The lumber mill is over here in the far east of the map. There are some areas that are currently not visible to us on the map. We can unlock those by driving to the various watch points that you see here on the map. There are four of them. That's not where we're going for this run through. So we're going to be going from the garage westward. We're going to turn north, ford a small river, go to the fuel station, top off our tanks, then head northward still to the log station, pick up our logs, and then head back the way we came to the lumber mill. Along the way, we're going to be unlocking additional vehicles. For example, another C-375, a K-700, which is a heavy-duty tractor. Also, a D-535, which is an eight-wheel drive behemoth. So, in the course of this series of videos, we're going to be doing log deliveries with several of these vehicles. So, that all said, let's stop burning daylight and let's get started. So here's our truck. I'm going to disable the parking brake and start the engine. You notice you see the little shadow of the engine starting up. Now these are options that we can add, but I've already added our options so we can just get started. Now right now, I just have the differential lock engaged that engages the back two axles. We get a little better traction this way, but at a cost of fuel economy. In fact, I'm going to turn off the diff lock to give you an idea. Notice we're slipping a little bit. See, now you can really see those wheels slip. Now I'm really slipping. Okay, so let's engage the differential lock and let's put in all-wheel drive. That's better. Here we go. If you notice, the modeling of this truck's handling is very realistic. You can really see the wheels slip. You can see the mud getting churned up. Oh, look, here's our first couple of vehicles to unlock. We've got our K700. So let's stop for a moment and look at that. So this is the K700. It is modeled after the real-life Caravettes. K700 heavy-duty tractor, and this one is fitted with a log-grabbing claw 
that'll come in handy for loading logs if we want to use that option. And then over here we got a C-375. Oh, and look, it too is equipped with a log trailer. That'll be good to know. Alright then, so let's get back on our way. All right, all-wheel drive, come on. Get a little stuck here. Now we've got a couple of vehicles here. Alright, so here's a C-255, which is another log-carrying truck. And then we have the D-535. As we get closer, you'll see this thing is a beast. Look at that. Eight wheels. Currently, it's fitted with a fifth wheel for towing trailers, but we can fit that with a log carriage, and hopefully we'll get a chance to do that later. But, time to get underway. Let's hit the all-wheel drive. Here's our first big test. We're going to ford this river. Now I'm going to turn my wheels left and right to help me get a better bite here. Here we go. Bath time. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Come on. There we go. Come on. A little bit more. Yeah. Nice. Alright, let's take a moment and check the map. We've made a lot of distance here. Alright, we're at a fork in the road. We're going to need to branch off to the left to get to the fuel station, so let's go. Now I'd like to point out that I'm playing in casual mode. Hardcore mode is more difficult because you're dealing with gear changes, you're dealing with increased fuel consumption. I'm just looking to have a little bit of fun here. Alright, here we go, into the mud. I'm going left and right on my front steering wheels. I use this tech to help climb snow-covered hills in real life. Come on, almost got it. I have to say, I'm really impressed by the realism here, the way the water churns, the mud churns. You can even see the driver frantically turning the wheel back and forth.
Almost got it. And as you can see, there is a day and night cycle in this game, and as the clock goes on, it gets darker and darker. So now the question is, can I get to the fuel station? Uh-oh. I'm stuck, aren't I? Alright. I was hoping not to get stuck like this, but time to break out the winch. So I can activate the winch. And I can use the control pad to select a quick winch point, attach a winch, and now here we go. Let's wind the winch. Here, come on, we can do this. That's it. There we go. Release the winch and get underway. All right, we made it to the fuel station. Okay, so I have now topped off my fuel tank. And I know it's getting increasingly darker. There is an option to skip through the night at a cost of some fuel. But seeing as I'm at the fuel station, I can just top off again, so let's give that a try. So, over here, I'm going to select Skip Night. It says, Skip 8 hours 57 minutes. This will drain 75 liters of fuel. I say, Yes. And of course, immediately topped off again. So, surprise, it's 6 in the morning. Cock a doodle doo! Alright, time to get started. Let's check the map here. Alright, so at this point it looks like in order to get to the log station I've got to make a left turn and navigate some rough terrain. Okay, still generally on the right path here. There's a bit of a bridge here. I want to cross this carefully. No, I didn't exactly do that as I wanted, but good enough.
Almost there. This is it. So here we are at the log station. So let's look around. We have a couple of little shelters here. If you look carefully, you see somebody's laundry hanging to dry. And now it's time to choose a load for our truck. So we're going to choose the short logs because that's all that will fit in this trailer. So I'm going to do a double click. There we go. Notice we're seriously loaded down. So we're loaded down, and our next step is to head back the way we came and take these to the lumber mill. But this is a good place to stop, so thank you again for watching, and join me next time as we take these to the lumber mill.